because the water point is on grass um, and we can't really reach from where we are. Hopefully it ain't too bad a weather and even if it is we're still going to use the bridle weight. Down this track in fear of dropping it in the mud <laughs> when I fall over That'd on my backside. Funny. Beginning to look, to look a lot like Christmas, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the channel. This weekend we're in Stockbridge View, which is just on the outskirts of Stockbridge itself. It's a nice little CL with about five hard standing um, pitches. Well, it actually has got five hard standing pitches and some grass pitches, so you can use the grass in good weather as well. Uh, we'll show you around the CL in a minute once I've set up. So I'm just setting up the, the van. We've just literally, literally got here. Lee's gone to get some water because the water point is on grass um, and we can't really reach from where we are with the hose. So he's just taken his little jerry can out and he's going to be coming back and filling up little bit by little bit, which is fine. Um, we're going to wander on Stockbridge tomorrow. That'll be on this vlog um, and we'll just let you know what we think of the place. Right, so let's take a quick look at the uh, the site then. So there's five hard standing pitches here. Um, water uh, points around the edge of the site and a few of the picnic bench tables. There's a massive area for your tents. And like I say, so we're here on this one and there's got a, a secure gate down the end. But I'll take you down there now. Water points are over there like that, so they're dotted around. And they've all got the attachments actually for the hose, which is great. And so you just literally plug your hose in if you've got that attachment. Um, coming down to the gate area, you've got your bins and recycling just at the entrance here. Um, you probably can hear there's a bit of a main road. That's the A30 just out there. But it ain't too bad if you park yourself at the back of the field. And for winter camping, it, it's great actually. But yeah, you've got a, a code on the gate um, that you'll get given. I believe that's changed every so often. So you'll get, a, if you're here for a longer time, then you'll get um, a message just saying what the new gate code is. Um, and the facilities are all here. So you've got your Elson Point just over there. Again, more fresh water. Showers and toilets within these like shed areas. But I was speaking to the, the guy that runs this site and um, they have actually ordered a new facility block to go in here. It's only been going for two years, so they're sort of building it up as they go. He did have to say he had to go back into his overdraft. He's got a nice big shower and toilet block that will be arriving for next summer, he's hoping. Um, you can see the, the size of the site. And when we take you into Stockbridge tomorrow, there's a bridle way that's literally a 10 minute walk uh, through the bridle way and takes you into Stockbridge, which we will show you tomorrow. But if we go in here then, you've got a little wash basin there, uh, your normal notice boards and books and stuff like that. Lovely map of the area and your sinks. So you've got everything you need in here. The toilets are compost toilets, I believe as well. Um, but yeah, ain't a bad site. And the cost for this site for the hard standing is 20 pounds a night. I don't think that changes through the year. Um, and it's a bit cheaper, I believe, if you're going on the um, grass pitches, but you'll have to check out on their website. They have got a website where you can book, but no great little site. So we will pick you up again in the morning at some time. Hopefully it ain't too bad a weather. And even if it is, we're still gonna use the bridle way. We're gonna go into Stockbridge and see what that has to offer. So it's the next day we're gonna head off now in Stockbridge, see what that has to offer. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find this uh, truck, which apparently can be quite muddy. Bit of a bridle way, I think. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see what it's like in this sort of weather, but it's not raining, so that's good. And a bit wet. But it has so been raining all night. We'll so see if it's muddy. We'll take you with us anyway. All locked up and ready to oh, go. Yeah, but I've got the van <laughs> plugged in still. So I've got electric in the van via the power bank. Um, just plug in the van in to find it easier. No, we did drain the batteries last night from watching too much TV because it was raining. Which way are we going? Uh, that way. Oh, that way. 
Oh, definitely a bit muddy. He did say that guy yesterday said if you got walking boots, you'd be better. Ooh, yeah. It's open field. And there's one over that side as well. Yeah. That telecoms tower thing there. No wonder we got a good uh, Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> I'm uh, not going to be able to have the camera much down this track in fear of dropping it in the mud <laughs> when I fall over That'd on my backside. <laughs> <laughs> it is very muddy. <laughs> Walking boots needed really, not trainers. Um, if I didn't want to walk round Stockbridge in my walking boots. But I'm just going to have really muddy trainers now instead. Oop. <laughs> Nearly went then. Noise you can, you might have heard in the background that pop in is the farm's bird scarers. Um, they go off from about half eight in the morning till late at night. Um, they're no problem overnight, uh, but they're they were annoying if you want a little rest in the afternoon or something, because they're just constant. Um, but needs must. And then, looks like we're coming to the end. So, last little bit to do. Where's this, it bring us out this to? This is the end of the park, but it looks like they've built a road here and then just thought, stop and have it as a bridle way. Oh. A bit strange, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so that's where we've come from. Which I guess is probably really nice when it's not so muddy. Yes, I do think we need, you need walking boots in this weather, don't you? Yeah, I think that's going to be the same for most places though, isn't it? You yeah. Know, but, but, you know, we uh, took the risk and it weren't too bad, if I'm honest. If you have feet, ain't that bad. And it's only a short distance yeah. until you're back on the normal paths again. So it's not too bad. It's very autumn-y, doesn't it? Coming into winter round here. It does. And this leads you back out, I think, to the A30. Um, so instead of walking along the A30, very busy and fast road, you can just go down that right away and it brings you out here into Stockbridge. There's a Test Valley School and Community Sports Hall there, Hampshire Council. Big track to come in. isn't it even in the autumn months a couple of bridges going on I believe this is the river test um, it is because there's a sign yeah because this is stop bridge is part of the test valley yes but in the 2011 census they said there was actually only 592 uh, people as a population of this town um, I'm probably a bit more than that now but it's a small town And then there's a big sign saying River Test. <laughs> On there. There's definitely the River Test. <laughs> Looks like a old building, doesn't it? Yeah, there are different, different eras, I think, down here. The size of that, I'm not sure what that one's like. What era from? Very square. Oh, there's the White House. Good job it's not painted blue. Well, they've got very they, They'll never be able to paint it a different colour, do they? No, exactly. <laughs> Meadow for you. Yeah. I like the names of some of the cottages. There's some things. big houses around here. Massive. Oh, look. Found a poem. We found a river wide and slow. We found a place where king cups grow. We found a meadow yellow white. <laughs> it's like flies have been in my eyes. <laughs> and watched the swallows dip in flight. The meadow mist is white as lace. We found another magic place. Greta Rouse. Oh, that was fishing there. Yeah. What's the size of that fish? I don't know if it'd be, be able to pick it up on camera, but just over there next to the rock. I might be able to zoom in. Yeah, I can't even see yeah. it. 
Oh yeah. Down there. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so this is they've just got one main strip of shops in the town. Yeah, I believe that's right. A few pubs, um, but restaurants and things for yeah. shops, essential shops and that's about it, isn't it yeah. really? But it's a nice Greyhound. little town, yeah. Greyhound on the test. Definitely a pub. It's been old father's there, still got the swirly thing. Oh yeah. You could have got the Christmas trees up as well, especially on this one. Oh, yeah. oh that's quite pretty. Very nice. Gosh, look at all that. <laughs> it's beginning to look, to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? It's getting there. <laughs> three cups in. Yeah. Pubs must do quite well out here because they're all, you know, nothing's closed down. They're all running, so they must get a good cups of them. Got a toilet so that you block there. No public leaves. St Thomas' uh, Catholic yeah, Church there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, a few fishing tackle shops down here, so obviously if you've got a licence, or you can even buy fish food for a pound, so there must be fish come through here. Can't see any. Yep, never tonight. And the old red telephone boxes. Over there. Yeah, a lot more antique stuff. Yeah, quite antique. Town Hall. Ah, Stockbridge Town Hall. There's a big church there. Yeah. There's a Wycombe Gallery. Some nice bits of art in there. Yeah, not cheap. Thousand, four thousand. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be, to be fair. <laughs> I like that yeah. figure. I think that's £4,750. Yeah. There's a Grosvenor country house over here. It's like a hotel. Yeah. What it's a delightful country house hotel. So we're both right. Yeah. There we go. It's very prominent, doesn't it? On this yeah, it's uh, all the buildings. Strip. Yeah, all the buildings are names, even the houses, they're, they're names rather than numbers. Oh, sunflower cottage like that, yeah? yeah. Fruit and veg. Actually, on the wagon. <laughs> Seems busy, all the cafes down here, doesn't it? Must be a Saturday thing. <laughs> We are going to go find somewhere to get a coffee in a bit, aren't we? Yeah, somewhere a bit quieter, I think. Yeah. I think that's the three wise men there. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, a couple of parakeets there. Oh dear. Look that big. Oh, no. Look, it's made out of all bits of wood and bark. Look. Bark mainly. Isn't Funny, it? isn't it? Yeah. Bird house there. And a big bird house. Look. Huge. That's big. I'd get that hanging on my neck, would I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's like a bronze. I think it probably is. You've got quite a few of these, like little rivers. I think they must all be to do with the river test, but they're all running through um, pretty much yeah, underneath. Yeah, they're pretty much underneath Stockbridge. Yeah. Um, you know, and you can follow these paths, you know, we're not going to 
It is a bit unstable, so just be careful. Comes out to your allotments. They're growing pumpkins there, look. There's quite a few um, coffee shops as well, isn't there? How many coffee shops we've seen so far? Three, three, four, five, something like that. And that market town, really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you'll get something like a. You won't get a Lidl or an Audi down here. It's you more. Lost, you lost me then, didn't you? I did. Oh, hang on, look at them. Look. That's how the butchers live. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not just hanging there randomly. They are at the butchers. But it's a bit more of. Um, I suppose if you want local fresh produce, isn't it, down yeah. here? Um, which is quite nice, really. Quite nice to see. Fire station, yeah. They've even got their own little fire station. Again, look, there's another one of these. Steps down to that little one. Streams. Yeah. Little streams. Hang on a minute. It's got a gravestone here. What's that about? It looks like a gravestone. Gravestone. It's like another little poem or saying. All oh, right. Okay. Kidney. And all the local countryside. You could explore it. Good for walkers and cyclists from here. Says and horses. Yeah, there's lots of country footpaths, isn't there? Yeah. Check out this bench. Wheelchair access is possible from the Lion's Den car park, which adjoins the marsh. So oh, if right. you want to go around this walk here, yeah. and see all the different birds and wildlife, right. and you do need a wheelchair, yeah. there is access. Vineyard apparently, they've got different shops up here I think. So a bit of beauty, makeup stuff, We're all off on the barns. We're in the barns. Another coffee shop. Yeah. Very strange. Quite unique actually, isn't yeah. it? I can't work out if people live here as well. I don't know. <laughs> Probably will do. Yeah. It's just like a little courtyard, isn't it? Yeah, With a so calf. I wonder if um, people get missed out down here though, when they're trading down here. It could do, they're not, it's not, I suppose, as obvious as on the main street. The locals on the other there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Persian carpets here, look. Antique, they're modern and collectible. Lovely. Yeah. They're nice carpets, yeah. aren't they? King's Head House. I would say everything's got a unique name down here. You have got a bus stop here as well, so um, the bus actually goes into a Winchester um, bus station. So if you wanted to pop to Winchester, you can. Yeah, the Vine Inn. It looks like it's an old pub. We walked through the courtyard a minute ago, but it's got shops at the bottom of it now. Well, there's even um, in the distance, might not be able to pick it up, but there is a clock face or so clock tower. Very small. That looks like a, an old market room, but there is people eating in there. So that's the, was it Groves yeah. Grosvenor? Grosvenor. Yeah. Big hotel here. Right smack in the middle of the street. Again, this is the church in the middle. I believe it's open, so St Peter's Church. And have a little look inside. Do a Sunday service at 11. Still got some poppies about that.
St Peter's Church. It looks like the doors are open. Um, no one's home. old sign up here and it looks like they were granted a hundred pound back in 1863 towards the rebuilding of this church. Well there you go number 16 bus to Winchester so if you do come this way and you want to go to Winchester number 16. There's the uh, clock face and it's got a fish on the top. <laughs> Must be to do with all the rivers around here. Got a little co up here we're just going to pop in here and Grab some things for the van, head back and have yeah. an afternoon. Nap? Cosy. <laughs> it's an afternoon nap, you can have it. It's a cosy afternoon with some nibbles and stuff, sweeties Yeah, how much for that? Right, we've got the bits of shopping that we needed. Yes, we have. Um, we're going to head back now up to the van, up that muddy path. Up the slippery muddy path. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> no accidents. Um, and uh, we'll catch Just, you back at the van. Yeah, we'll catch you there. Hiya, so that's us, we, we've done at Stockbridge for you. We came back last night from our little walk around. The weather wasn't that great, so we just chilled out in the van. Nothing really to vlog for you when we got back. Nothing interesting anyway. <laughs> um, but I did find out a little bit of history about the Grosvenor Hotel. It was the Grosvenor House and Lord Grosvenor lived there for a while. Um, I believe that the Grosvenor estate built up from there um, and in the London area and around the world. Uh, I think the Grosvenor Hotel has been sold on from that estate, but the estate is now inherited uh, by Hugh Grosvenor, who's the Duke of Westminster uh, recent recent years, and he's known as one of the wealthiest men in Britain. I think it was about nine billion worth of Ooh. estate that he that he inherited. Um, I'm not 100% how it's all linked. I did try and have a look, um, but if you do know more about that, it'd be great to put that in the comments for us because we'd love to know more. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we we are heading uh, where we're going next. You're going to South End, aren't you? Yeah, so I'm going yeah. back to my uh, hometown. I'll be showing you the true South End and not just the seafront. Oh, interesting. I can't <laughs> wait for that. Um, I don't even know half of it. So we are then going to look at heading to a couple more campsites over the winter uh, and keep some vlogs coming for you. Yes. So stay tuned. Yes, so thank you again to everyone that's been uh, tuning into the channel and subscribed. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see you on the next one. See ya. Bye.